I don't think you could have scripted it any better here tonight at Laird Q Kagan Stadium. It's a matchup of two unbeaten teams in the Pac-10. They come head to head. Number one in the country, Stanford against number 13, Oregon State. It is the Pac-10 regular season title that is up for grabs. Let's take a look at the NSCAA, HendrickCars.com, top 25. Stanford will remain number one. They are now 16-0-2 on the season. 16 straight wins. Number three, North Carolina, the only team to beat Stanford. That was last season. They tied it this season. 2-2 earlier in the season. As we flip the page, we look at number 13, Oregon State. That is who we just saw here tonight. They were on a 10-game win streak. Unfortunately, they did not come up with a win here tonight. 17 USC just lost to the Beavers last weekend, 1-0. And Ohio State in the bottom of the pack here of the top 25, one of only two Big Ten teams in the top 25 rankings. When you see BYU at 25, they'll be playing for the Mountain West Championship tomorrow. 80 franchises, 5,000 cars, and over 100,000 photos. It's only on one website. That is HendrickCars.com, and that is the sponsor for our top 25. Time to take a look at our NSCAA Players of the Week on the women's side from Charlotte. It's a midfielder and forward, Mackie Wingo, and she picks up National Player of the Week honors and turning over on to the men's side. Well, from Cleveland State, it is the goalkeeper, Brad Stuver. He is your National Player of the Week. Congratulations go out to both players. They are your NSCAA Players of the Week. After 90 minutes of action here on the campus of Stanford University on our NSCAA Women's College Game of the Week, Stanford still unbeaten, still number one in the country as they win this one 2-0 over Oregon State. And Kendra, it was the same player once in each half, tallying both of the goals. Let's get a look at them. Absolutely. Number 23, Kristen Press, the senior forward. She gets a beautiful ball in here, but how about that? She one-times it right foot, volleys it out of the air, places it in the lower left-hand corner in the second half, much more of the same. Tough couple touches, gets it on her left foot and places it, slots it right in the lower right-hand corner. Reminder for you, the 2011 National Soccer Coaches of Association of America Convention is in Baltimore, Maryland, January 12th to the 16th. Witness the best of the U.S. at the world's largest annual gathering of soccer coaches, featuring a ton of bright minds from the world of soccer, from college coaches like Anson Dorrance, Jay Vitovich, Leslie Gallimore, Randy Waldrum. Tons of other coaches will be on hand. Registration opens up earlier this month. You can sign up now by going to NSCAA.com. You will not want to miss it. It's the convention in Baltimore. Go to NSCAA.com for more information.